Hello and welcome dear professional students and learners to the very interesting and informative topic that is dissolution specifications dissolution testing and acceptance criteria it is a part 2 for the dissolution specification video and in this video we are going to learn mainly the specification at 45 minutes and the best practices for setting the dissolution specifications so both these part are related to the dissolution specification for immediate release formulations that may be oral solids or oral liquids so while going through the video part 1 you might have understood the q values how these are set based on the bio batch values and you might have a question that why difference of 10% is considered while setting the specifications so we use the bio batch value we subtract 10% out of that value and the value we are getting that we are giving the q value or q percentage as a specification so this is why because average difference of 10% at all the sampling times gives F2 similarity value of 50 and this is the minimum F2 value required for dissolution similarity. So the 10% is considered. See dissolution is a very vast topic and as we go on learning about the dissolution we get more and more knowledge and more and more questions. So the dissolution is very very important topic when we consider the interviews and interviews always ask regarding the dissolutions. So in this video we are going to study the Q point of 45 minutes and specification at 45 minute dissolution time point. One is important thing you can note here that we have seen 15 minutes and 30 minutes time point in the part 1 video and here the same thing is happening like at 45 minutes we are getting 95 percent drug dissolved or drug release and on the similar way we can give a q value of 85 percent so s1 will be 90 percent and s2 stage will be 85 percent q value of 85 percent example 2 if you get 90 percent at 45 minute you subtract the 10 percent from 90 you will get 80 and q of 80 percent can be given similarly if you get the value of 85 percent you will get q value of 75 percent and this might might be the last condition as 15 minutes 30 minutes and 45 minutes are the main time points accepted by the regulatory authorities and if if 85 percent is not achieved then we have to go for the two point dissolution specification see other times might be accepted or may not be accepted that depends on the product design and how the justification is provided like some products are approved on the basis of 20 minutes time point so this varies by case by case basis and while developing a product we should follow the guidelines only see example 3 you got 82 percent in 45 minutes now can you give a q point of 72 percent should we give it no we can give a q value of 75 percent and q plus 5 80 percent in this case there are more chances that our dissolution will go to s2 stage more and more batches will move to S2 stage if we give the dissolution limit of 75% Q. 
and some of the batches may go to S3 stage because this is somewhat tightened criteria considered for the specification for the product. Then example 5. Here we got 45, here we got dissolution in 45 minutes that is 72%. So now if we subtract the 10%, we get 62% and Q of 60 can be given. Then in 90 minutes, we got 94%. So here comes the requirement of two point dissolution. See generally the dissolution goes to 45 minutes for the drugs which are less soluble or where the formulation is very slowly eroding or where the drugs are very slowly dissolving. So in these cases the product goes to dissolution time point of 45 minutes and above. Here we can give 60 percent or range of 50 to 70 at 45 minutes and another Q point of 80 percent of 90 minutes. So it will be a two time point dissolution specification. Time points are given here 1 and 2 time in minutes 45 90 and the amount dissolved. Here range is given and here the last time point is given. I have made another video on two point dissolution specification. In that video, you can get the complete clarity. Then the best practices. This part is very, very important and very much valuable part of this video. Dissolution specification of 15 minutes and 30 minutes to be set for drug products containing the soluble drug substances. Always keep in mind how is the behavior of your API? Is it soluble or insoluble? Then dissolution specification of 45 minutes and two time point specification to be set for drug products containing poorly soluble APIs like BCS2 and 4. Then always we have to consider average minimum, maximum and percent RSD for 12 units data and also consider S1, S2 stage dissolution possibility. Always you have to set dissolution as per the S2 stage that is second stage dissolution on 12 units. Dissolution specification to be evaluated critically for combination products like bilayer tablets or other products which contain the different APIs and with two different layers and API with different release profiles. Dissolution conditions should always be standard as per the regulatory requirements. We should not use higher amount of surfactants at higher RPMs or higher volumes. So always go for the standard dissolution conditions. Then dissolution is rapid or very rapid. This is very important. Is it rapid or very rapid? We have to check. Always consider dissolution of bio batch with all the strength and the test product dissolution with all the strengths on 12 units. We should not set the dissolution criteria or specification based on the single strength. We have to consider the data of all the strengths. Then consider profile of reference product of all the strengths. Reference product of all the uh, all the strengths, bio batch and other strength of the test products are required to be considered. Always have a dissolution profile of stability batches and consider dissolution data of bad batch, discriminatory batches during finalizing the specifications and acceptance criteria. Then always check and consider the would be regulatory queries and always have a backup plan as well. Whatever the regulatory queries are there, we have to consider them and we have to make the dissolution specification as per those would be possible queries. So then the dissolution limits should be set at 75 percent, 80%, 85%, 80 85%. And other specification are not given like 77 percent or similar. The values nearer to 75 percent, 80 percent and 85 percent are required to be set. So if you are getting a Q value of 77 percent, set it near 
set it 75 because it is nearer to 75 percent and not 80 as it is not nearer to 80 but it is nearer to 75 for example it is 77 percent q then set it 75 the time points other than 15 30 45 minutes may be given like 20 minutes to have a good bioreleivance or to prove discrimination but this is case by case basis 20 minutes also is possible and that can be given and the criteria will be same the specification should not be much relaxed and it should not be also much tightened that you are all the batches will go to s3 so a uh, specific understanding should be there while setting the acceptance criteria for example the dissolution is 95 percent at 15 minutes and the specification is given as q point of not less than 80 percent at 45 minutes so there is no there is no uh, discrimination in this type of uh, acceptance criteria and agency will tell to tighten the specification limits bio batch data and stability data on 12 units must be considered while setting the dissolution limits the specification should be such that discrimination power can be proved otherwise if you set the relaxed specification you will not be able to prove the discrimination of your of your uh, dissolution method or test conditions the monograph availability of the product is always required to be checked before setting the specification then bcs class of the drug substance and the disintegration disintegration time of the drug product should be kept in mind then in summary we have learned and we have talked on the different approaches for get for setting the acceptance criteria and specification for dissolution for the immediate release formulations so mainly we have discussed 15 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes and what if we cannot get the dissolution in 15 minutes we have to go for two point dissolution so i think this information is valuable to you and keep watching the videos uh, like share and subscribe to this channel share these videos to your colleagues and friends so that they will get the clear understanding for making these uh, presentations and videos i have referred usfda fip ema guidelines and the usp chapters thank you for watching this video